Thank you. So the next, we have role of gastric enzymes in metabolic diseases by Dr. Anup Bhagat. Now what do, how do I introduce him? He's the, one of the famous personality in functional medicine in India. Uh, the chemical pathways which he makes you understand, nobody else can do it. Um, he is a functional and aesthetic medical uh, medicinal doctor. His lectures on all chronic degenerative conditions are very informative. And he is an excellent teacher. Special focus on obesity, diabetes, and thyroid conditions. I think, I think his special focus is on everything. Uh, let's uh, hear from Dr. Anud Bhagat. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. So, everybody is coming across chronic disorders. We are all here to learn about the chronic disorders, maybe about the diabetes, obesity, or cancers. Why do the chronic disorders occur? That's the main question in my mind. And this is one of the topic which is very close to my heart. It's a low hydrochloric acid which causes indigestion. It does not help in digestion of the food. Low hydrochloric acid is Low hydrochloric acid is known as hypochlorhydria. And high extra hydrochloric acid is known as hyperchlorhydria. What we are concerned is hypochlorhydria. It is an epidemic going on all around the world where most people are suffering and the medical fraternity is not aware of this fact. We have been talking about food is medicine. And you are what you eat. But I have extended the definition, you are what you absorb. If you do not absorb your food, it's a waste, plus you are ready to get all kind of chronic disorders in the future. Why does it occur? The question is, why does it occur? Chronic stress. We are all suffering with the chronic stress. H. pylori infections, proton pump inhibitors. Right and left, we have been given proton pump inhibitors. Insomnia. Then excessive use of alcohol, excessive intake of sugar. Last but not the least is aging. If we can add little hydrochloric acid in the old age, after the age of 50, we can definitely stop the degenerative changes in the future. What are the complications? I'm sorry. Sorry. What are the complications with it? It inhibits the absorption of calcium, chromium, iron, zinc, magnesium, manganese, 
molybdenum and b12 these are all cofactors for biochemical pathways if these are not functioning be ready for all kind of future disorders in your life along with it you have sibo that is small intestine bowel growth and tyrosine tryptophan and phenylalanine their levels go down because they are essential in the brain for the synthesis of neurotransmitters what are the symptoms symptoms are loss of hair halitosis bad breath from the mouth GRD or heartburn bloating in the epigastric area you feel fullness immediately after eating bloating is also immediately after eating if the bloating takes place after half an hour then it is due to the deficiency of the pancreatic enzymes gas formation yeast infections itching around the anus undigested food particles in the stool you can examine yourself you can test yourself and see there are certain signs which we can elicit in the patient what is happening something is gone wrong here okay next this way na take this way na but okay so this side is the you keep doing it okay <laughs> okay so what are the signs of it you see wrinkles around the eyes pigmentation around the eyes Tear-trough. See here now. Can you see? Even the younger patients will have wrinkles around the eyes. Pigmentation around the eyes. Pigmentation on the face. See the pigmentation around the eyes. See here. Tear-trough. Do we have the pointer? Okay. 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 See here. This is the pigmentation all over the face. Nails. Vertical ridges on the nails. Horizontal ridges on the nails. what are the diseases associated with it malabsorption alopecia receding of gums acne rosacea rosacea occurs because of sibo and sibo occurs because of 
hypochlorhydria. Then you have food allergies, hypothyroidism, inflammatory skin conditions, autoimmune disorders, insulin resistance, diabetes, and then you can see the brittle nails, numbness in the hands and feet, fatigue, weakness, depression, dementia, and headaches. How do we treat it? The question is, how do we treat it? Always address the root cause. Take the history and address the root cause. Second, start with the probiotics before you start supplementing hydrochloric acid. Give probiotics at least for a week. Okay. Then start supplementing betaine hydrochloric acid tablets. These betaine tablets are extracted from beetroot. Okay. Give one tablet with meals or after meals. If you do not get pain in the abdomen or burning or diarrhea, then give the tablet in the evening also. These tablets have to be given with the major meals, not with the breakfast or not with the fruits, major meals. Okay. If the patient does not have any of the complications, then you have to proceed with the two tablets. In case if the patient has any of the complications, you have to neutralize the hydrochloric acid with the baking soda, sodium bicarbonate. Okay. If the patient does not have any of the complication, proceed with two tablets next day. Two tablets in the lunch and two tablets in the dinner. Patient does not have any of the complication, proceed on the next day with the three tablets. Keep on increasing until patient gets complication, that is maximum is seven tablets a day. With the each meal, you can give seven tablets. Okay. Now, if you have complication on seven tablets, then step down. Neutralize the side effects and step down by one to six. Your dose is six. Okay. If you have complications on six, step down by one to five. 5 to 4, 4 to 3, 3 to 1, and 1 to 0. But in old age, I will suggest you to continue on minimum tablets with one or two tablets, whatever you can tolerate. It really prevents your degeneration in the future. B vitamins are required along with it. After this, 
if you still have undigested food particles in the stool, add digestive enzymes. Do not give digestive enzymes unnecessary. If you still have undigested food particles after giving betaine and B vitamins, then add digestive enzymes. Okay. Supplement iron. Patients are often short of iron in the body because it's not being absorbed. Iron, you can check ferritin level. If it is less, you can supplement. Most often it is less. Another important thing is B12. It is not absorbed at all, you see. Most, what are the maximum levels I have seen is around 200, which is very low. I'm done. If you have any questions, I can answer or I can answer later as you wish. So, iron, in what form do I have it? See, good question, you see. Because iron is not being absorbed, okay? So, basically, the ferrous bisglycinate is the best iron. If you can get hold of liposomal, that will be ideal. It's a mixture of everything. Okay, B vitamins are required for the functioning in the body, for the biochemical pathways, as well as for the citric acid. Okay, so this is very essential for the parietal cells, you know. Okay, yeah, please. Yeah. Old age, old age. Is that a lifelong procedure or is there a point where it reverts back to its health? It's not lifelong procedure, that's what I said. After seven tablets, as you start getting the complications, step down by one, okay? After a few days, you will have a complication with six, okay? Yes, yes. Then step down by one, okay? Okay. It's not lifelong procedure. Right, thank you. No, sir, after, I'll call him. He's here till evening. I'll call everyone for the lectures. I can't allow any more questions, sorry. I'm just... I know, we will call him, we will call him, I'm so... S Sir, uh, uh, in our general practice, day in and day out, the patient comes to us, uh, belching, belching, blotting, and patient himself gives us diagnosis acidity. And, and so, and so the day in and day out, almost all, all consultants, they write everything along with proton pump inhibitor. So, so, and, and they, 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 they come with other diseases. But at the same time, the prescription is along with all, it is PPI. So kindly comment. That's what I said, you know. We are being given Proton pump inhibitors right and left. Two minutes are still left. Question is, the patient has heartburn. And 95% of the patients with the heartburn are due to the hypochlorhydria, not because of the hyperchlorhydria. That's why I've given you symptoms, signs. You can check ferritin. You can check B12. Okay? These will help you. I've given you vertical ridges. One thing which I missed out. Cuticles around the nails. Cuticles around the nails. This is one of the thing which I missed out, you know. Okay? So now you can see, you can check eyes, pigmentation. I've shown one of the patient. See here now. Please don't take this photograph. See here now. After a treatment, treatment after a month, okay, 
Only one month treatment. See the young child. She came to me for chemical peeling. I refused. When I checked her, I refused. I said, no point. You'll be wasting money with me, you see. See the next patient. See the difference after five months of the treatment, you know. His disease was cured. Face lifting was there. There was a regeneration of the hair. Pigmentation is gone. Please don't take this photograph. I'll request you not to take this. This patient's photograph. Sorry. See the difference. It is only because we have improved the biochemical pathways in the bodies, in the body. Any other is it is it clear, sir? Is it clear to you? Okay, uh, so I request uh, Emilia and Dr. Karthikeyan to felicitate.